Okay, so we'll take a look at the teacher interface. And once you've successfully set up the integration, there'll be a few new buttons within uh, the Teacher Connect gradebook that will allow for the Google integration. Um, the rest of this is really on the teachers to do their part of the setup. And while this loads, just a little bit of feedback we've gotten from our pilot districts is that it's really easy. Um, everything's super smooth. They're really, really liking it. So, so far we've not gotten any uh, negative feedback from anyone who's been using it over the past week. Okay, so a couple of different ways that this uh, integration can start. So if we start by heading to the setup screen, if you have teachers who have been mostly working in Google Classroom and don't have uh, all their assignments all, also in Teacher Connect, or maybe just have some of their assignments in Teacher Connect, but not everything, um, they can take the step of importing assignments right from Google into eSchool. So they can import the assignment itself as well as the grades. Um, if you have teachers who've already gotten their assignments in Teacher Connect, that's fine too. They can simply set up a link uh, to import the grades. So you can start using this really at any point that your teachers are in, in their setup. So if we click on Import Assignments, um, I'll choose the category that I want to import to. So the categories do need to exist in Teacher Connect. I'll choose the course from Classroom that I want to pull from. Okay, so all of their Google Classroom courses should display in this dropdown. So I'll choose the one that I want to um, import from. And then I'll choose the assignments. A big thing here is you'll notice that I chose the category quiz, but you will see homework assignments in this dropdown as well. Google doesn't use categories, or at least not in the same way that we use categories. So it is going to show every single assignment they have in classroom for that course. So it's important that your teachers are kind of paying attention here and choosing the assignments that actually go in this category. Not a huge deal if they make a mistake, if they can always you know, um, unlink and, and remove it from that category, so it's not the end of the world, um, but just make sure they're aware of that point that um, they should be choosing the assignment that matches properly in the category. They can choose more than one. So I can do quiz one, I could do quiz two, and some of my other ones, and I can choose as many assignments as I want to import all at one time. Um, once they click import, just give it a few seconds and the assignments along with the grades will be pulled into Teacher Connect for them. Okay. The other option, if the assignments already exist in eSchool, uh, teachers can simply just link the assignment to Google Classroom. So if we take a look over here on homework five, if you hover over the uh, assignment name and click the arrow, there's a button down here that says link Google Classroom. So if I select that, again, I'll choose my course and my assignments, which here we go and click link and it will automatically link and then pull the grades in again okay this little icon here indicates that the assignment is linked to a google classroom assignment once the assignments are linked to google you will see the lock icon display okay so that is on purpose um, this is kind of pushing so that grades are only updated in one place. So in this case, once you've linked the assignment, the expectation is that if a grade needs to be changed, it's changed in Google Classroom. And then um, it will be, it can be synced again to update Teacher Connect. Um, but in the cases where a teacher may need to update a grade within Teacher Connect, 
they can again hover over the assignment, click the arrow, and click, click uh, unlink Google Classroom. That will remove the link and will allow them to change the grades for that assignment right in Teacher Connect. And they can go back and forth. So if they um, linked an assignment, unlinked it, linked it again, but just keep in mind that if they unlink it and they make changes and then they link it again and resync here, sync Google Classroom grades, um, it will change whatever was in Teacher Connect to match what's in Google. So really they should only be unlinking this like at the end of marking periods if they need to make adjustments to assignment grades that they want reflected on their report card. Um, they should do it here. Um, really ideally the grades are the same in both places since you may be sharing the parent portal and Google Classroom with parents and students. Okay, the other important thing to note when syncing the grades is to uh, make sure that the grades in classroom are not in draft mode. So they have to actually be grades that are published, like saved and published in Google Classroom. Otherwise, they won't be pulled over to eSchool. So if you have a teacher who says, you know, I linked my assignment, I, I synced it, but the grades are not coming over, tell them to make sure that their grades in Google are actually saved, published, accurate grades. Okay. Um, when they're adding assignments. There's also a link to classroom button right here. So if they add a new assignment into eSchool, they can quickly link it right to Google Classroom from here. Or again, they can simply just import their assignments right over. Um, and that's really all the steps for the teacher. So it's pretty easy on their side um, to run through it quickly. Again, they can import their assignments right from the setup screen. Um, they can link or unlink assignments right from the setup screen. So if I just click on that link icon, I can easily unlink from Google Classroom. They can add new assignments and link those to Classroom. And they can also hover over an, an already existing assignment to link or unlink from Google. Uh, it does not touch report card grades. Okay, so it's just doing Google Classroom assignments. So a teacher will always be able to calculate their marking period scores. Uh, they'll always be able to override a marking period score for the report card. So then this column will never be locked from them simply because they're synced up with Google. So the only reason this column would be locked for a teacher is if your grade entry window is not yet open. 